So we went back and tried to identify any potential election interference this fall. And when we searched for a bunch of different themes, we found mentions of the term voter fraud had actually had consistent patterns of activity going back three years. Um, if you look at the visuals in the report, it almost looks like a heartbeat pattern beating consistently. And then when we looked at those accounts uh, themselves, uh, there was a lot of strange things. They, they weren't necessarily seeming like bots. They had similar aesthetics and emojis, but what we saw was that all of them were surging uh, all of a sudden, either six months ago or most of them 15 days ago. And what I mean by that is they would go from having no mentions or replies to all of a sudden getting 10,000 or 20,000 uh, mentions in a day uh, and every day going forward. Um, and so when we put this together, we saw that these accounts were started amplifying each other. Um, they were surging late and have been surging in the lead up to the election. Um, and the thing that really stood out for us was that um, it's not about bot or not. Some of these accounts are actually humans. We've confirmed that. And that's kind of the point, is uh, it appears that real Americans are getting caught up in these patterns of coordinated influence um, to spread these narratives. So when I go, uh, explain this to me as a, as a neophyte at, at using Twitter, which I, I assume is where most of this uh, activity that you're tracking is, is taking place. If I were to put in hashtag voter fraud, I might be led to places where the content is fundamentally fake news. Yeah, so if you were just to go to Twitter, uh, um, I think it's changed over the last few days, but over the last three years, if you just search for voter fraud or other terms like election fraud, demand voter ID, you would see tweets uh, from the same group of accounts that have been uh, active and coordinating for over three years. Um, and that ability to kind of colonize that hashtag and uh, affect what people think about it uh, and glom onto these, uh, these conspiracies or overblown reports um, of, of voter fraud, uh, that's, that's a consistent thing. So um, that was really troubling to us. And then the other thing we saw that these accounts were doing is they weren't just tweeting about voter fraud, they were tweeting about other conspiracies like QAnon or false flag MAGA bomber um, or the caravan crisis. And something that's been really troubling over the last week and a half is these accounts have uh, not just been tweeting about voter fraud, but fusing those other conspiracies with claims of voter fraud in the lead up to the election and actually um, speaking to more calls for violence um, in the belief that millions of Americans will vote illegally. So seeing that surge in raw activity and then this fusion of conspiracies with claims of voter fraud and potential violence, um, that was troubling to us and led us to to want to issue this report early and, and get it out to the public. What have you done in response? I mean, when you find these accounts, Brett, do you report them to Twitter? Are these accounts no longer active now? Did you trace them back to any foreign actors? So we specifically focused on not looking at the claims of who was behind it or the bot or not question. Um, these are important questions, but I think the research and media community has been stuck on the bot or not or Russia question. And that's kept us from seeing these evolving, very advanced, changing influence tactics and looking at the actual data of coordination. Um, and, uh, and so that's, that was kind of our, our starting point, was to see what was, actually, um, what was actually happening. Now, we don't know who's behind it, but what we do know is that there are growing, scaling narratives around claims that this election will be stolen and that millions of illegal immigrants or people from the caravan crisis will be voting today. Um, and we're concerned that the anger and the calls to violence that these networks are amplifying um, will affect not just today, but um, what happens tomorrow and, uh, uh, and the rest of the days after the election.